Welcome back to the Dion Training Channel everyone and in this video I'm gonna be showing you what I believe to be the most important practice based question for the CompTIA A plus core 2 exam. Now for this question on the exam day probably will come up as one scenario only but I'm gonna be going through three different scenarios in this question just to give you all the information and all the different permutations that you need to be able to answer any question come exam day. I want you to really focus on this question. I believe it will come up to 95% of the students who take the A plus core 2 exam. All right so here we have a practice based question for the CompTIA a plus core 2 exam and it's a wireless setup practice based question mostly on the exam you'll only get one scenario but in this video here I'm gonna be doing all three scenarios so you can get all the amount of information and just have a holistic view of the whole situation so that you can be ready for this question come exam day all right let's head on to scenario one okay so we can see we have a bunch of houses here and a bunch of information about different wireless network now pay close attention to this information because it's really important when it comes to answering the question let's read the directions daniel has asked you to set up her wireless network she has purchased the tiger jbg12 because she wants the flexibility offered by multiple frequencies she wants the highest possible security she also wants only her own devices to be able to connect she has chosen daniel 123 and daniel 123 5g for the names of her network. Her password should be love my cat for both. She has a laptop and then we have the MAC address for the laptop and a tablet and then we have the MAC address for the tablet. Click on Daniel's house to get started. So very basic, we got all the information that we need. Every single sentence in this passage matters because it gives us little pieces of information of how we're actually going to approach the situation and set up the settings for her router. But before we head on to the settings, I want you to take a look at these network information. Here we got a wireless network, security mode is WPA and a channel is 11. This is the most important piece of information. Here we got the channel is 1 and the last one we got the channel is 11. All right, let's head on to Daniel's house. Let's head on to wireless. First of all, let's show up the directions here. She wants the highest possible security. All right, so first of all, we're going to turn 2.4 and we're going to turn on 5G because she wants both of her networks working. Next, it says that she wants the highest security. And as a standard, we usually would hide the SSID or the name of your network. So we're going to click on that. Again, show the direction. She has chosen Daniel123 and Daniel1235G for the names of her network. So that's really easy. You're just going to type in Daniel123 and easy. Just copy that here in Daniel1235G. All right. So it says that she wants the maximum amount of security. So when we're going to choose the security protocol for this network, we're just going to go for the drop down and we're going to click on WPA3 because we all know that WPA3 is the most advanced and the most secure wireless encryption protocol. Again, let's show directions. So her password should be love my cat for both. All right. So we're just going to type that real quick and just copy and paste it onto the other one again here we're choosing wba3 all right just make sure everything is correct and then the channel which is really important a lot of people could miss this but if we go back we would notice that daniel's house is actually situated between two houses in two networks one of them is using the channel one and one of them is using the channel 11. so what we need to do here in order to optimize the network performance is actually choose the channel six because these are the three non-interfering channels that are usable for common people so we got one six and eleven we're surrounded by 1 and 11 so the best answer to choose here is actually 6. All right if we go back to the question it actually says she also wants only her own devices to be able to connect. From this piece of information we can actually deduct that we're not going to be configuring a guest network. All right let's check our answers and there you have it everything is correct we've chosen the correct protocols we've written down the correct name for the network and the correct password we've chosen everything correctly so let's move on to the next part of the scenario. We're going to click on security of course she wants 
to maximum security, so of course we're going to be turning on the firewall, we're also going to be turning on access control. And in the access mode, we're actually going to be using an allow list because in the direction, it says that she also wants only her own devices to be able to connect. So we're going to be configuring an allow list and allow lists are lists that your device or your router uses in order to let devices in. So basically only the devices that are noted down in this allow list will be able to access the network. It works basically like the opposite of a deny list so if you have anyone on a deny list they're not allowed to enter but if you have someone on the allow list they're actually the only ones allowed to enter so we're just gonna type down the two mac addresses so let's check the answers all right we got it all the settings are correct so we finished the scenario completely and it's not really that hard it's pretty simple all you gotta do is just read the information correctly and just try to deduct everything that they are not giving to you on the exam i think it's a pretty nice scenario and gets your brain working so on exam day, this could be the whole BBQ that you get. You're not gonna get multiple parts like I'm gonna show here, but we're just gonna go through it so you can gain more information and just be more ready for different kinds of scenarios. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's read the directions. Now that Daniel has bought a new router, she gave her, she gave, she gave her neighbor Andre her old router and asked you to help Andre set it up at his house. Andre isn't overly concerned with security. He has many friends over to play games and giving out the password all the time is a pain. Set his router up so he doesn't have to give out passwords to guests who come over. Andre believes that TKIP for basic security is faster than AES. So he wants that as his security setting for everything except the guest network. He wants the network names to be Andre's network and Andre's network 5G. The password should be 123456. So Andre is a really cool guy. He doesn't really care about security and stuff like that. He doesn't really panic about it. Again, notice the channels here. We got here 11 and we got here 6, which means that when we're choosing the channel for Andre, we're going to be choosing the channel number one. All right, let's go to Andre. Let's go to wireless and let's show direction. So of course, we're going to be turning on 2.4 and 5G. And we're not gonna be hiding the SSID this time because Andre is a really cool guy and he doesn't really care about all of that panicking security. So we're just gonna change the network's name to Andre's network. We're gonna copy and paste that here to Andre's network. 5G. It says that Andre thinks that TKIP works faster than AES. Which security protocol can you guess that uses TKIP? Yes, it's the WBA protocol. So we're going to be choosing the WBA protocol for both the networks. So we're just going to type the password 123456 and then we're going to change the channel to channel 1 because if you remember, he was situated if you remember, he was situated between two houses that are using channels 11 and 6. So we're going to be choosing the channel 1 for this configuration. All right, onto the guest network. Now we're going to have to configure the guest network this time because Andre has guests all the time. And it says set his router up so he doesn't have to give out passwords to guests. So we're going to enable 2.4G and we're going to enable 5G. And then for the security, we're just going to click on none because we don't want to give passwords to our guests. Now let's check the answers and everything is correct so we can move on to the next part of this scenario. Now Andre is a really cool guy so we're not going to be using any of those settings. If you can check, turn off the firewall, turn off the access control. If you check the answers, all right, now we got it. Everything is correct. We're just going to move on to the third and final scenario of this video. Andre is really happy with his router. He often has many people over to play games. Jamba, however, isn't as happy. He had noticed a few MAC addresses that he doesn't recognize are showing up as users. He wrote down the suspicious addresses. His son changed some of the Wi-Fi settings and now things are worse. His household is experiencing many dropped connections when streaming movies and music. And his wireless IoT devices aren't working as well as they had. Jamba would like to improve the security on his router, fix the connection issues, and prevent suspicious addresses from connecting to his Wi-Fi. Change the password to Jamba Family Only 6745. 
Now let's look at Jompa's house. Now we've got here one and we've got here six. So we're probably going to be using a channel 11 for this house. Now let's click on Jompa's house click on wireless. So Jampa would like to improve the security of his network. So we're going to be changing the settings a little bit. Now, of course, 2.4 is going to be turned on. We're actually going to be hiding the SSID so people outside of the network can actually see it. The name for the network stays the same. Then we're changing the encryption protocol. So we're going for WPA3 because it provides the maximum security. Now he wants us to change his password. If you remember, we're gonna be using a channel 11 for this one because two houses next to it are using one and six. So for this one, it's Jamba 5 net let's leave it. And for the security, we're gonna be changing it to WPA3. Also for the guest network, we're gonna be changing the security to the highest security here as Jamba wants. So we're just gonna check the answers right now and we got it. Everything is correct, but this is not the end of the scenario. We still have some things to do in the direction. So we're gonna hit on to security, of course, turn on the firewall and turn on the access control. Now, if you remember from the beginning of the video, we actually used an allow list. Now we're gonna be using the opposite of that, which is a deny list because he wants some of those addresses that are connecting to his network to not connect to his network anymore. Now let's just show the directions and write down the addresses. Now let's check the answers everything is correct and that brings us to the end of our scenario here and what i believe to be the most important practice based questions for the a plus core 2 exam all right everyone that brings us to the end of this video i hope you liked this video if you liked it please hit the like button down below comment if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions or topics that you want us to talk about on the Dion Training channel. Also, don't forget to check out DionTraining.com for the best IT certification training out there. Also, the best prices on exam vouchers anywhere on the web. I'll see you in the next one.